All right, I'm on the bike today and kids have 11 miles easy. All right, let's see if we can get this day started off right and get some training in. All right, let's go. Hey, all heart fam. MK here, just popping in and ask you a giant favor. Please like this video, help get it out to as many people as possible, and subscribe. If you haven't done so already, it really helps out our channel a ton. Hey, you can even get notified when new vlog episodes drop in the morning every single day. Thank you. Love you so much. Forgot my light. My glute is still on the mend. I'm still broken, but we're getting better a little bit every single day. Yesterday, I was able to get in a 20 mile bike ride. I was pushing about 260 watts, so it was not a very comfortable experience. I'm grateful that I'm able to spin on the bike though. Um, able to get my heart rate a little bit up, do a little bit of zone two riding. And even though my heart rate doesn't get too high, it's still really, really a giant suffer fest for me because uh, my legs aren't used to doing work on the bicycle right now. Um, but I feel like if I just uh, put in a few more days, invest a few more days into it, my body will start to adjust. I can get into a groove and gain some momentum and hopefully start to get some fitness back and be able to get my heart rate up into threshold or even VO2 max and that would be awesome. It'll make for a much softer landing for when I return to running. I'm realizing that this old guy is going to need a little more cross training when I marathon prep from now on. So uh, I'm thinking about uh, not just using swim and bike to get back to running, but use this as a launch pad to incorporate cross training with swim and bike um, in my regular routine and hopefully do each of those three times per week at least. What pace are you running at Haven? Good job, it was tough coming up the toll road, huh? Mile 4, 7.46, and mile 5, 8.17. Okay. She 
feel better now though, right? Okay, good. All right, let's finish up this run then. Just a few more miles until we get home. Mile seven, 756. Mile eight, 758. Good job. Good job. Well done. Well done. You made it. All right. Let's get some rest. Ten point seven miles. Seven fifty nine per mile. Had to cut it a little bit short since we're going to be late for school. Had to take that detour in the middle of the run, take care of business. All right, let's get something to eat. Let's head off to school. I wasn't able to get ready in time to take Evan to school this morning. Dang it. So I missed an opportunity to pick some low hanging fruit and get an extra five miles of zone one, zone two cycling in. I know that I have to cycle at least 50% more than the time I normally spend when I run in order to maintain fitness. And it's pretty tough to start new activities that my body and mind aren't used to. So every little bit that adds to the total for the day helps. I worked way too hard battling through groin and lower ab pain for the last year to let the fitness just melt away. So I have made a commitment to myself not to let that happen. I promised myself that I would work hard, even harder than I would if I were running. Because cycling and swimming are definitely a tough mental challenge for me at this early stage. I was a much stronger cyclist than I am a runner, but it's been a while since I've done either cycling or swimming. And to be honest, I am really very rusty. So tackling swim and cycling workouts for just even just 30 minutes at a time is really, really tough. And I'm really just not looking forward to it. But gotta fight through it. Gotta keep going. Gotta make it to the start line, healthy and strong. And so can you. If you have to take time off for an injury, for work, for family, or for any other life reason, find a way to make your training work for you. Find a way to make it to your start line healthy and the best version of yourself possible. You can do it. I know it in my heart. I just want to say thank you to the best Patreon team in the whole world, without whom we cannot do any of this. Love you so much. Hey, God, Instagram, or Strava, then check us out right over here for your daily dose of running motivation. Thanks, Cole. And that's gonna do it for me today. Time for me to get a little rest and digest this hefty breakfast before I go out to hit the tarmac for some more fitness rebuilding. I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye now.